James Rogers up next on Times Radio. James is Director of Research at the Council on Geo Strategy. Evening, James. Hello, how are you? These um, incredible images today, I'm, I'm surprised that they are um, not um, covert images. They're widely available on the internet, showing a, a field hospital in, in one part of Ukraine and showing bridges being built over water in, in others. Does that lead you to conclude, in a way that we just heard from Liz Landers, that, that this Russian invasion looks more likely than it doesn't? Well, it certainly doesn't validate the claims that the Russians have been making, i.e. that they're pulling back. I think it's the case that the British and the Americans have both confirmed, also, of course, that the kind of information that, that's available in the public sphere um, shows that they're as, um, as deployed as they were you know, a few hours ago or yesterday, and in fact are probably deploying further still. Now, whether that actually means that an invasion is going to be imminent is um, still you know, a question that everyone is asking, and only probably... Um, Vladimir Putin can answer, but um, it does look likely that, that, that we are moving towards some kind of uh, you know, crescendo of this, at least in the initial phase. What do you make of the British strategy? We're told it was a British-led strategy to call this UN Security Council meeting in New York today to try and use the Security Council, which is under Russian stewardship at the moment, to try and defuse this situation. Well, yeah, I think the UK is definitely showing um, and leading even um, in the Euro-Atlantic space in terms of its Russia policy. It's adopted a far more um, vigorous and purposeful policy than may have existed in the past. I think the UK is very keen on um, calling Russia out, uh, forming new relationships with countries such as Ukraine and others in the Euro-Atlantic area that share Britain's uh, vision and uh, sort of understanding of Russia's intentions, such as Poland, um, and also using all diplomatic channels to um, reveal what Russia is doing and to draw attention to it constantly. Uh, in addition, I think the UK has also been using its intelligence capability, as well as that of the United States, its close ally, to reveal exactly what Russia is doing before Russia actually does it. And then that sort of puts Russia on the back foot and forces them to reassess the situation in which they find themselves and which they try to create.